Uh, Michael Goodwin, uh, New York Post columnist, the Pulitzer Prize winner. Great, interesting column up today when he uh, talked about the president having to find a middle ground or an acceptable middle ground alternative on the coronavirus that maybe would calm people down. I'm, I'm taking that stretch there, but Michael spells it all beautifully, as he always does. But, Michael, I'm wondering if it's too late for that now. Uh, for good or ill, um, people have formed opinions, whether they like his approach, whether they dislike it. You, you, you think otherwise, right? Well, well uh, Neil, I, I agree with you in general that uh, he's not going to be able to change a lot of minds uh, nationally. But uh, certain states are, are still in play uh, for the president, as well as the Senate race, as you were just discussing. And uh, a few votes here and there, as we saw in 2016, can make a big difference in the Electoral College. And so my point, even though I think the president could benefit from this politically, I think the larger issue is that he has had a medical experience that 7 million Americans have had in some form or another. And uh, if you want to criticize the president for not showing empathy, for not really uh, wearing this uh, on his, uh, wearing his heart on his sleeve on the virus, I think now is an opportunity for the president to share his personal experience with the coronavirus. What was it like for him? Uh, did he fear dying? Uh, how sick was he really? Let him talk about it in personal terms. I think that would go a long way to putting a lot of other people at rest, to make to making them also feel that the president uh, to, you know, is human, that he's not just Superman, uh, that he's gone through this very extraordinary experience. And we never hear a president really talk about themselves in this kind of situation. But this is a unique moment. And I think it really fits the, the president to a T. I mean, he, you know, we know a lot about him. He talks about himself. He talks about his business. But I think he should go the, the next step in this case and talk about the coronavirus in ways that would give people, people confidence that he really understands understands the threat and the danger, even while he is preaching a very uh, uh, bold approach to go, you know, not let it dominate your life. Yeah. Yes, there are fears, there are risks, but get out there anyway. And I think he's done that, and now he has paid a price by getting the virus. Now he should talk about that side of it. You know, I, I think it's a great idea, Michael. Um, I, I don't think he has it in him. I think he's very, very reluctant to get you know, personal on these matters, as it was when his brother passed away, a good friend passed away, um, a friend, of course, from the virus itself. I, I, he's very guarded about that. I'm not faulting that or, or praising it, just the way sure. he is. I don't believe he's wired that way. And if he doesn't do that, and given, you know, his critics who love to pounce on how he has addressed the whole virus thing since coming back to the White House, the, taking the mask off on the Truman balcony and all this, that he hasn't changed, and this hasn't changed him at all. He's returned to his tweeting, he's returned to everything the way it was. So that being said, and he doesn't change, then what? Well, uh, the polls all say that uh, he's in trouble. Um, and that uh, the coronavirus, uh, his handling of it, the, pu the public's perception of that, is a big reason why he's in trouble. Uh, he, a lot of people, uh, even five in ten Republicans believe that uh, he has not—he did not take it serious enough, according to a recent Reuters Ipsos poll. So I think there's a lot of uh, dry tinder there for him that is a real problem in, in the election, and I think that that's why I'm urging this: that even if it doesn't. Uh, make a difference in the election, I think it's a very presidential moment. Uh, to, to have had this disease is so unusual. Absolutely. I mean, you think about it, you know, for a president to have suffered a disease that 7 million other Americans have been through, uh, he's been criticized for not uh, being uh, showing enough empathy toward the families who lost. Uh, I think this is an opportunity to be presidential in a very unusual way, but in a very Trumpian way, that you could you could make something positive out of this awful experience that he himself has. It's a very good, very good idea. I just, uh, I just don't see him, his comfort level with doing that, but I could be wrong. Um, I know yeah. he respects you and your columns, so maybe, maybe you'll move the needle on that. We'll see. Michael Goodwin, thank you very much, my friend. Be well, be safe, be healthy.